Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that makes you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 600, NASDAQ off 268, S&P's off 80, gold contract up $16.20 at 17.10 an ounce. You get silver up six cents, fourteen dollars ninety six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up sixty four cents, nineteen dollars forty seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year right now is down four ticks, trading one thirty eight thirty. Thirty year is off six at one eighty twenty seven. And King dollar, King dollar is up uh, sixty three ticks, trading ninety nine zero seventy nine. The euro is at one oh nine. The yen is out here at a price point of one oh six point eighty seven. And the British pounds at one twenty four to one U S dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at Okay, so what do we have here? You have first day of May. You're coming into a weekend. S&Ps are down uh, $7.90. We take a look at this in a weekly, folks. What you're going to see out here, we had, we had, well, first, let's just look at this in a daily first, because this is really intriguing. We had two separate failures out here this week. And what we had done is this, and then, and then well, bottom line is that you, we, had, we had the failure on Monday. It got over the, the swing point here of the, the 17th of April. So you failed on price and volume. You failed on price and volume on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, you had the expansion going topside. Bottom line, monster failure on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we have a failure on the weekly in a big way. On the weekly, yeah, what we did, folks, is that right now on a weekly basis, you, you've done 514 million shares. You're going into uh, 1.2 billion, and we're going to close under the lows of the last two weeks. Uh, right now, uh, you have to close over 287.30. Uh, so what does that set up? I, I suspect that's going to set up uh, basically a 262, which is 20 points down from where we are right now. And what that is, that is the highs of the lows on that bar. That's how this baby is shaking out. It's going to be really hard to bust that down, particularly when you're coming off of a much higher level because the volume is so dramatic at that particular point. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100, what we have with the NDX. Bottom line, you're down 579. You're in a lower range. Uh, you know, this bottom, bottom line, it's going to have an expansion of volume. We come into the close out here. We take a look at this, and we put this on a weekly also. And what you're also going to see is that we got up to a price point inside the queues of a 220. You, you dug into this bar in a huge way, man. I mean, the bottom line is that the NDX 100 has had an amazing run. Um, huge monster. That being said, guess what? You get a failure at 216.51 on price and volume. What does that set up? Well, that also can set up a run to 192, and right now you're at 213. We get up and we take a look at Tesla. Elon Musk, he must be on a bender. Okay, so the bottom line is that good old uh, Elon, uh, bottom line genius that he is, uh, he, uh, listen to this tweet, folks. I, I, I got to bring this page up for you because. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty wild. Let me get this on Tiger TV. Uh, what is shaking out there? Okay, so the bottom line, in the middle of the day, uh, Tesla goes from a 772 down to 706. And uh, Musk uh, tweets out, Tesla stock is too high in my opinion. Okay, that's the first part. The next one is even better. The next one in a separate post that says he's going to sell almost all of his physical possessions. He's not going to own a house. He also renewed his call for the opening of the economy and then recited parts of the Star Spangled Banner and then his next tweet came out and said his girlfriend's mad at him. B bottom line, folks, you know, if he actually does sell all his properties, he owns a huge amount of properties. So the bottom line is that I, I suspect that he's been uh, he's probably on a long bender and uh, he's, been, he's been probably up too long. Gold. Gold contract out here. Bottom line is rejected lower price. Uh, gold still wants 
to finish off this ABC structure. Uh, and what you have out here is that we got down to a price point today of 1676. You've done 158,000 contracts traded. That uh, contract volume, folks, that was going into uh, 249,000 contracts. It never even made it to the lowest swing point, missed it by $10. $10. You're in the higher range. I expect what you're going to see up here. This thing has been building costs here for almost like we've been building costs since April 6th. So the bottom line, I suspect we'll see whether next week's going to be uh, the week that it wants to make a run. Notes and bonds. What we had out here yesterday is this. The note and bond market did go lower yesterday, had a small expansion of volume. We're sideways out here today. Bottom line, looks to me like the note and bond market is building some cause to get down to the lower end of the consolidation. It's a very small consolidation, too. Uh, that consolidation would be, go it'd be going after April 7th low. In the 10-year, that's 137.16. We are at 138.30 right now. And if we take a look at the 30-year, the 30-year uh, has a lower price and, and consolidation. That 30-year is 177.14. And right now, you're at 180.25. King dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? King Dollar right now, uh, bottom line, rejected the lower price at the lowest swing. The lowest swing on this is 99.817. We got down to 98.781, and it's kind of laying there. So that's the, that's the first move. Uh, you know, I suspect it's going to build some more cars to get down to this 98.270, because anything inside of 99.910 is the lower range, which actually puts game all the way down to this 94,650 number. You know, but right now, you know, you get a sideways move out here, and the move that as the dollar was going down was all about the euro. The euro uh, got some juice in it yesterday as well as today, gave it up on price a bit today. We, we're trading at a buck 10, right now you're at a buck nine. Uh, the euro, though, is saying that it wants to run up to this 111.63, and if that's what we get as we come into the week next week, you will see that uh, dollar index uh, pull back. Some of the higher volume equities out here inside this market right now, we get GE down 36 cents. You get Apple off a of buck 76. They came out with their numbers last night. Uh, bottom line, gross numbers weren't bad. They're going to buy $50 billion worth of stock back. Uh, no guidance going forward. You have uh, Boeing. Boeing's down six and a half dollars. We got Tesla off 73. That's the big one out there today. Exxon Mobil. They come out with numbers. That was the first time that they lost money in 38 years. That's trading down three dollars and 24 cents at 43.22. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.